uh, top earners in France are thinking of making a run for it. Should a new 75% income tax limit for the super rich be agreed upon? Uh, the idea was met with a warm public response. But the most successful entrepreneurs may desert the country just when the slowing economy needs them the most. RT's Tessa Arcilia has the story. When the world's fourth richest man, a Frenchman Bernard Arnault, asked for Belgian citizenship, some of his compatriots took offense, with one left-wing French newspaper publishing this image with this headline. The mayor of this area in the Brussels capital region has confirmed that Bernard Arnault has indeed established residence here. But the French tycoon denies his move had anything to do with French President François Hollande's plan to impose a 75% income tax on those earning above one million. But many suspect otherwise, and the rich have become the subject of much discussion. They are quite responsible for this crisis. They should pay more than the rest since they have more means. It's the people of Goldman Sachs who are responsible for the crisis. It depends on the rich, but those bankers who contributed to the crisis should pay as well. Hollande is set to soak the rich even more as he struggles to raise the money to fill a 30 billion euro hole in the country's finances. The tactic of Mr. Hollande during the presidential election against President Sarkozy was to say that Sarkozy was the president of the rich. In France, obviously, we have income tax and the rates are going up. But on top of that, we have wealth tax. And then on top of that, we have estate tax. Everything went up. And on top, top, top of that, we have this 70 percent tax. That's where real thinking about moving outside France started. But the move didn't go down well with everyone, including some French taxpayers, who fear having to foot the bill if the tax the rich strategy fails. Well, their fears are well founded as business people consider losing three quarters of their income across they're simply unable to bear. Like 30-year-old entrepreneur Jeremy Lefebvre. He hasn't made the jump just yet, but he says he may find himself with no choice. It's clearly the, the climate that's, that's, uh, that's, found, uh, uh, that's found a haven in France, uh, which, which basically promotes stigmatization of success, wealth, ambition, and so on. And France is definitely worth its taxes to a certain extent. But it, it, the, the math don't work in my head anymore uh, if I'm starting to create more value than, uh, for others than, than I do for myself with the implementation of those 75% and so on. Clearly, I will relocate as an individual uh, and, and become a tax citizen of another country. Like Belgium, for example. But Belgians have already taken to the streets to protest against what they call lack of morality of the rich who come to their country to avoid certain taxes. In France's case, the super tax may affect as little as 3,000 people out of 66 million. And if that elite minority continues heading for the door, then the deficit hole will only grow. And Hollande may be forced to embrace the one policy he rejected throughout his election campaign, austerity.